Hi guys and welcome back to the Mindful Investing channel. Today I want to talk with you about box spreads and how you could utilize them to leverage your portfolio in the most efficient way possible and not like a fucking Robin Hood idiot. First of all, what is a box spread? A box spread basically is an option strategy with which you can borrow and lend out money close to the risk-free rate. Therefore, box spreads enable you to borrow money at conditions far better than the ones offered to you by your broker. So if you want or if you have the need to leverage your portfolio, the most efficient way is definitely to use box spreads. Before we dive deeper into box spreads, let me get out a short disclaimer. If you want to trade box spreads, always use European options. If you use American options, there's the risk of assignment before expiration, which will basically always result in you showing up on the top page of Wall Street Bets because your account got blown up. <coughs> So let's begin. Basically, box spreads always consist of four options, basically four legs, two calls and two puts. And all those options together create a synthetic long position and also a synthetic short position. Let me show you what I mean. So let's begin with the synthetic long position. The synthetic long position basically consists of a long call and a short put at the same strike resulting in a delta of exactly one, like it would be if you would outright own the stock. So let me show you that the synthetic long position basically performs the same as the underlying, using a quick example. So let's ignore the option premiums in those examples. In the example, we bought a 100 strike call option and sold a 100 strike put option. Basically, if the underlying moves to 105, our call option will have a value of exactly 5 at expiration. Our put option will be worthless. If the underlying stays flat for the whole period and expires at 100, our call option and put option will both be worthless. If the underlying falls to 95, our call option will be worthless and our put option will have a value of 5 at expiration. So basically our P&L is the same like it would be if we would just outright own the stock. So let's continue with our synthetic short position. Basically, a synthetic short position just consists of the same legs, but switched. So instead of selling uh, the put and buying a call option, we sell our call option and buy a long put option. Therefore, our delta is exactly minus one. And if you look at the example, the P and L is exactly the same as it would be if we would just sell the underlying short. So let's combine both of our synthetic positions to create a box spread. Let's establish a synthetic long position at the 100 strike and a synthetic short position at the 95 strike. Let's look at the box spread as a whole. By going long at 100 and short at 95, our overall position delta equals zero. But because we're long at 100 and short at 95, we are also left with a definite loss of 5. So let's factor in the premium. Basically, the premium is what enables us to borrow money or to lend money. As an options trader, you have to always remember that the premium is paid upfront. Therefore, if we establish the position given in the example, we will receive 5 in premium when we establish the trade. We also know that we will face a definite loss of 5 when the maturity of the options is reached. Therefore, our implied interest rate is 0%. So now let's have a look at a more realistic example. In the next example, our premium is 475. Always remember that we receive the premium when we establish a position, so at the first day. Then our options have 365 days, so one year left to maturity. And at maturity, we are faced with a definite loss of 5. So, to calculate the implied interest rate, you have to divide your definite loss, so the 5, by the premium you receive up front, which is 475, which results in the implied interest rate. So, in the given example, our implied interest rate is 5.26%. So let's have a look at a real-life example on the S&P 500 index as an underlying. 
As you can see, we will establish our synthetic long position at the 4675 strike and our synthetic short position at the 4650 strike. Therefore, our definite loss duration will be 25. Let's have a look at the current premium we will probably receive for this box spread. The mid is quoted at 2580. Therefore, to calculate our implied interest rate, we divide our given our sure loss, the 25, by 2480. This will result in an implied interest rate of around 0.8% per annum. If we look at the current treasury rates, we see that the treasury rate for one year to expiration is currently at 0.31% per annum. Therefore, we should in theory be able to get a better execution, which means to get a higher premium. So that's it for today's short introduction to box spreads. Please always remember to only trade box spreads using European options and never trade them using American options. American options can be assigned before expiration. Therefore, if you use them to trade box spreads, your account will most definitely get margin called and fucking wrecked. <coughs> As always, thank you for watching and please feel free to ask any questions in the comments and to subscribe if you enjoyed the content. See you the next time.